Welcome to the world of Warframe today. And today, oh baby, it's a day. Okay, we should be live now on YouTube, Twitch, around game plan today, everybody. Welcome, come one, come all. How's it going? Hopefully today is a joyous occasion. I mean, it's just normal Sunday. I think there was holidays going on soon and today, maybe not this weekend. The week, general holidays like St. Patrick's, right? Stuff like that. So hello everybody, welcome. Dell's TTQT. Do fucking Sonic. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Today in Warframe, we're hitting max rank. If we go and we take a look over at our Warframe foundry, we can see Latrin Wraith, Spira, Spira Prime. I do still need an Akvasto Prime blueprint. If anyone has that and wants to sell one to me. But the hidden weapon was the Latrin Wraith, and I got that built. As well as the Spira Prime. So, I'm doing well. We're going to get some levels. Who is here first? Dells. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. We will crate you, Ruben. Hello. That's <laughs> yelling to my dog. Oh no, he's crazy. Hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Negative. Okay, so wait, we have the Latrin Wraith, but more importantly, we got that other one as well. We have the Spira. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There will be more ranks later on, but there's none now. Oh my God, I didn't realize it. It's ribbed, it ribbed and spins for her pleasure. Bro, what is the Spira Prime? What is this Warframe weapon? It's, but it both spins and is ribbed. Do you, do you think it vibrates as well? Oh my God. I didn't actually realize how messed up these things were. Uh, love them or hate them? I don't know, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Oh god, the drill dough. It's never been more corrupt. Damn, dude. That's a little messed up. What the hell? Sorry, I'm a little scarred from now. Uh, I will throw on... I'm not building these up. These are pretty useless. How do you unlock arbitrations? Do all the stuff on the start chart. Gotta upgrade our spiras. Like, we're just throwing these on. They don't matter. These are just master rank fodder. All they ever were and all they ever will be. Sorry, there we go. I mean, I don't really care. I'm just gonna be leveling with my Parasesis anyways. Uh, let's, let's use. Cut down the. Uh, let's do an Aros, he's pretty good. Did the Warframe quest count also? Yeah. Of course. You gotta do Warframe quests to unlock more stuff to get Arbitrations unlocked. You can talk to, I think, Arbiters of the Hexus to see what you need done if you're close to being done, but yeah. Hello. Do you think about the March sale and the premium bundle? Uh, it's more worth buying the bundle if they do have Platinum. I didn't check them out specifically. The ones that have a little bit of Platinum. <laughs> I feel like I should just auto ban that phrase. <laughs> it's just annoying. Uh. Oh yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just on Publix. Anyone's welcome to join. We can fly a new star pack on our plaids, airman bottle five on. Yeah, it's like it's not terrible. Right? It's not the worst. It's something. <laughs> Let's go to ESO. We gotta get Master Rank 4. Let's go, everybody. 
Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, we're going to hit Mastery Rank Legendary for today. And then we we beat it. We beat Warframe. No. I'll truly have beaten the game, I've decided, when I finally get my Akvasto Prime blueprint. And then I'll be done. But we're pretty much going to be Legendary for today. And pretty much beat the game. If I miscalculated and I need to get my Akvasto Prime blueprint, I'll trade for it and then rush it because I'm desperate. Will the flower crown ever come back? For sure. Warframe always has reoccurring awards, rewards, sorry, and they will always be back. The thing is, it'll just take a little bit of time. Warframe's not like too loud. Oh, yeah, I have it at 40. Okay, no, it is fine. Yeah, dog, you gotta run ESO. I gotta get Elite Sanctuaried. I'll be doing a lot of solo stuff today, getting max rank and stuff. I'm just spinning in a circle. I think Citrine's not terrible to get. One, if you at least have the prereq area unlocked, she's pretty easy. All things considered. You know what? I'm just gonna spear a prime everyone to death. They do damage, surprisingly. They're actually usably killing things. This isn't like Steel Path, this is just ESO. So it makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. No! So you just gotta pop them off one by one. Just hit them in the head and they'll die. That's all you need to do. Okay, let me just kill through all the little enemies here. Because they're all like crowded in the corner, hiding. They're just scurred. I don't know. I don't count how much money I've spent on games. Most of my Warframe stuff spent has been like merch and outside of the game, so I have no idea. Not at all. Are you yelling over there? Yeah. Yeah, actually, the uh, the curtains might be done almost. Just check up on them after. Had a bunch of freaking drywall dust and stuff, chat. Ugh. The walls are painted, but hey. I don't know how many thousands I've spent on Warframe at this point, though. Between Tenocon, all of the random floofs and some stuff. It's hard to say. Yeah. yeah. Probably two to three max, to be fair though. Yeah. I mean, it was like it was like three grand last year, pretty much, because Tenocon. So that was fun. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I just I had to take a crazy lady with me, a crazy insane blonde lady. She had a knife. I was threatened. She had a knife. Can't prove otherwise. No, you can't prove shit. Yeah, I mean, like, most Warframe expenses are outside of the game, so I've farmed for most things. I've bought, like, a Prime Access here and there, and Platinum on a 75% coupon once or twice, I think, and then that's about it. And then it's all Floofs, Merch, uh, Tenocon packs. Yeah, it's all just Floofs, Merch, and Tenocon. You know, same thing, same thing, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much in U.S. dollars. I'm a Canadian, man. I'd say, like, yeah, I spent three to five grand Canadian across all my Warframing. But that was just, like, on the game and for the game via Tenocon and stuff.
and Warframe has made me hundreds of thousands of dollars via content creation. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty good, good relationship. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It is my job. Actually. I've only been playing this game for nine years. Champions, you good, buddy? <laughs> Tenno, did you just have like a stroke? Are you trying to? Did you have an emote type thing? <laughs> Champions, what? Where did that come from? <gasps> Weapon X demon, nice. The game will take. I have opened a new data conduit. Proceed immediately. Yeah, I'm like, I I've spent. Uh, Probably more on my computer overall last year than I did on TennoCon and Warframe in my entire life. Because my computer setup was like annoyingly expensive. Seeing how I got a good computer. Well, a good GPU, CPU, all that, right? Very expensive. You can get like obviously nice computers for a lower price, but when you're doing all content creation, uh, and it's a workstation machine, it's a little different too. I wouldn't recommend the average gamer spend 5,000 Canadian on a uh, desktop, but hey, YOLO. I bought, I think my computer a little bit before the 4,000 series came out uh, a year ago. Hey, cheers. And then, yeah, I have a 3080 in it. I didn't want to go any higher than that. I thought about getting at some point like a 30, or sorry, a 40, 80, 40, 90, whatever. But I'm like, eh, I don't really need it. I will get it when Twitch, oh god. Lags quick. When Twitch starts supporting AV1 encoding, that is when I will get maybe a 40, 80. Because I believe that'll actually help like stream quality tremendously. Because you can stream. AV1 on YouTube, but you can't on Twitch, I believe. And since I stream to both, it's like I'm kind of forced to stream, yeah. I know, it's slightly ironic. Don't need a game freezes. It looks like that was the entire game freezing, though, so it was more of, like, network lag. It's almost, like, it's annoying, though. Computers always hit, like, network lag or hitch hiccups here and there. Because, like, I was streaming and making content on my old computer with a 1070 Ti up until two years ago, right? Or, like, last year, pretty much. Well, it was 2022, so. No, uh, computers and, like, tech is just insanely expensive. Because a 4090 is probably damn near 1,500 to 2,000 Canadian, right? So that's why there's no reason for me to buy one until I need one. And that would be AV1 encoding on Twitch and YouTube. Because I don't have two stream PCs, so, like, obviously when I stream on YouTube and Twitch, it, like, it's not perfect quality at all. It, like, pixelates and stuff, especially around a high motion. And, like, my face cam gets more pixelated, like, here and there. But when I stream off my PS5 playing Final Fantasy, it's, like, damn near perfect quality, right? That's the advantage of having a streaming PC and, like, a dual PC setup and stuff. So, yeah. So I would much rather just stick with my one PC setup and then tick on AV1 encoding when the 4090 comes out with uh, Twitch enabled AV1. Well, Twitch has to enable AV1 for me to buy the 4090, I should say. I said in the wrong order, sorry. All good stuff though. They're just way too expensive. Cause like I can, I'm, pr I'm pretty broke right now. I'm just saving money and like spent all my money for taxes, right? So I I don't really have money, but I could save up for it. And at the end of the day, like I'm more willing to buy things for the business of content creation loves than I am for myself. I don't want to buy a new car ever. Ugh, gross. And uh, last year was just an expensive year because we traveled around a lot. Well, I guess this year's expensive because we're traveling around a lot, but it's like the last year to two years was very expensive. And will be because we had to also do like house stuff again. Everything's just expensive. 
I mean, you don't even have free healthcare in Canada. You have subsidized healthcare, and then it's different. The free healthcare is 100% a meme, and that's not how it works, but... Sometimes it's like free healthcare, but you might end up dying on a waiting list anyway. You know, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Nothing's without negatives. Very, very much many negatives with Canadian healthcare, and with any money other things. Nothing's perfect. Uh, I wish, I wish. Just do a 4060, waste of money. I already have a 3080. That's what we were discussing. You were late. You missed out. You're behind. I would obviously say for most people, obviously don't bother with a 4080 type shit, yeah. I said that earlier. For most people, you don't need a stupidly expensive content creation machine. It's just for, like, job stuff and workstation. It's, like, for engineering and rendering and 3D model. Like, all of that stuff. Animation. Render. Yeah. You want good, high-quality, expensive PC because you need better rendering load times. Uh, less lag hiccups. More RAM. Faster RAM. You know. All that jazz. Faster read writes out of your SSDs. SSDs are fine, though. You usually only have issues on hard drives. I have a hard drive in my computer because I use it for, like, uh, video storage and stuff. I should get another SSD in there. Put my third SSD in my computer. Hello, Icebag. Welcome, everybody. Don't even know how to spend money on games with USD. Uh, you just do it. We talk about games. Titania Prime builds while having this on... Ooh, Titania is interesting. I'm not a huge Titania player at all. I like to just throw some strength on her and fly around with the Razorwing Blitz mod so you shoot really fast. And I mainly use her to like run around and go super speed. I'd say a PS4 is bad. They're really old now. They still can play some games, but we're getting to the point where the age of uh, new games coming to a PS4 and like all old consoles is coming to an end, so definitely would be a good time to try to save up and get a new one when you can. Like PS5. It's more so an issue of like, I like my PS4, but uh, it's just going to die eventually. And new games aren't coming out anymore. Certain ones on the PS4, so you're going to hit that more often. Okay, let's go again. How's my mastering? Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I know. That's why I'm like, maybe I'll just probably buy a 5090 when it comes out unless twit or if twitch gets av1 encoding first then i will buy a 4090 it is only about that literally the only thing that matters in regards to that is av1 encoding oh, i have party open oh shit oh, nice yeah maybe i can join you Here, invite you yeah. Yeah, if anyone wants to join up, feel free. I'm just running ESO. Good augment for Octavia Prime. Mm, Octavia Prime's just kind of amazing, so anything's good for her, right? Wait, I can't do steel. Then why would you ask for an invite? <laughs> it's ESO. If you have it unlocked, you're fine. It's not steel path, though. Use your head. Use your head. What are you doing? Kill everything you encounter. Do not relent. The integrity of the experiment will lie. Whoop, 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 whoop. Easy. Yeah, I got a really, I got a PS5 really early on. Luckily, saved me the hassle of having to wait uh, in order to play games. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I don't care about VR myself. It's not really something that I'm looking for. Maybe one day VR will be, like, worth it for me, but nah. 
half the things I see about VR is either like, oh, this thing's like pretty cool, or oh, I'm a coomer who uses VR chat. That's half of the shit I see online, it's so funny. One or the other. It's either this thing in VR is really cool, or this thing in VR is really coomery. One or the other, there's no in-between. No, no Inaros rework yet. I mean, I've had Warframe at pretty much 100% for years now. It's like, you can always collect useless random shit. Like, I could always collect more random arcanes I don't care about or use, or never will use. To make, like, maybe a niche build that I don't care about. I'm not, like, a huge build crafter, right? So, I'm already pretty much done. We continue chill, make guides, talk about the game, and casually play. Got a lot of videos to make. And play other games, of course. Uh, I played Destiny 2 for a bit. Beat it around Lightfall, stuff like that. It was fun. So many games, so little time. Oh, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out next week. So I'll probably be going pretty ham on like stuff like... After today, I probably won't be playing a ton of Warframe. We have the dev stream on Friday this week and maybe some other stuff, but... I'll probably be streaming uh, Warframe throughout the week still, making videos casually on Twitch, but... Other than making videos, I don't think I'm going to be playing a ton of Warframe. I'll probably do the thing where uh, I jump on stream on Twitch, you know, we make some videos and then we jump to Final Fantasy or like Fortnite or Dragon's Dogma when that comes out. But yeah, who knows, who knows. Diablo, oh, that was interesting. Good times. I had fun when Diablo 4 came out. Played a little bit of uh, that. Never played DE2 back in the day though. But everybody loved DE2. The the Diablo, the Diabloist to Diablo, they would say. There's never anything uh, to do on Warframe that hasn't changed. This is the game's been in the same spot as it's always been for the past two three years. This changes nothing, and nothing has changed. The game cycle of Warframe is always the same. Play, do more stuff when uh, new stuff comes out, then chill, and play less when there's less stuff to do. It's been the ga uh, same gameplay cycle for the past entire time the game's been out, so nothing's new. It's just today I beat Warframe by getting the max rank again. I'll just uh I'll just go become a Fortnite content creator full time. We'll go, we'll go from uh Warframe to Fortnite. The natural natural change of things. Of course, of course, yes. Look at these spiras. Remember, use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker. Everyone already knows I'm a Fortnite pro. They call me they call me Young Ninja, like Y U N G. You know, so I'm an old man. Clearly, I'm a 72 year old uh, magician. survive. <laughs> Be young ninja. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. That's sweet spear damage. Honestly, it's not bad. I just don't like throwing knives. And honest and throwing knives in a game like Warframe are kinda dog. 
now. How's nerf being nerfed? Just lowering numbers. Nourish is still like low, usably good though. But yeah, Eclipse is getting like their its total number nerf way more because of how it works for Helmet, but. Yeah, cheers, Valorox. Yeah, people think I'm a Warframe creator, but I'm actually a Fortnite creator. I'm gonna start making some top 10 videos in Fortnite, so y'all, you better be prepared. I need to make, I need to experiment with making more actual, non-casual videos for Fortnite. Cause I only, usually in Fortnite, I've only done very casual stuff, like go over updates and little highlights. Shorts, etc. Go over the item shop and stuff. Go over new loot. Never really done any serious Fortnite in content. You know? I gotta make 72 top 10 Fortnite skin lists. Oh my god. And then I gotta win an FNCS. Yeah, clearly. How do, how do I win one if I'm bad, though? That's what I gotta figure out. Oh wait, I can't. Shit. I do wanna try, like, doing actual competitive Fortnite stuff one day. It's just like, you actually- you need to play a lot. I don't play a lot. I need to actually play a lot, get good. And stop smoking ludicrous amounts of... Uh, stuff. I gotta pop open Unreal Engine Fortnite editor and start becoming a Unreal Engine creator. I just gotta start creating maps. My level in Fortnite? Oh, it's like 38. I try to get my like 5 AFK casual creative levels every day, here and there, when I remember to. Because last season I got up to like 170 or like 160 something. I didn't quite get that last skin, I think. So I just, uh, if I remember, I like log into Fortnite and do some creative map farming for XP casually, but you know. Okay. Yeah, like, think of it like this. You can easily get five levels a day in Fortnite uh, creative. There's 77 days on the battle pass, right? So you can easily get, like, 300 to 400 levels that way. I think it's around 350. I don't know. 77 times 5, that's, like, around 350 to 400. And then count, uh, take into account the extra actual gameplay quest XP. You can get Lego, you can get Fortnite, uh, Rocket Racing. Yeah, so you can get a ton. You can AFK, I know a lot of people do the thing where they just AFK in Lego every day. Because you get, what, like 30k every 15 minutes XP wise? It's so funny. So yeah, you can just do that. Why would you bother buying levels? It seems like a waste when you can just AFK throughout the time, but yeah. Yeah, I wanna like mess around creating more Fortnite maps and uh, download the Unreal Engine Fortnite editor. I don't know how it's gonna go. And like, if I'll actually be able to do shit well, cause I know I won't, but it'll be a fun meme. But hey, go go play my sweet creative 1.0 maps. <laughs> Trust me, they're the best. Yeah, I'm like, I'm more casual, I'd say on Fortnite's. I'm more casual on most games, of course. Like, I may be a 
big content creation man for Warframe, but I'm still, like, pretty casual about it as a game. I don't, like, care or give a shit about any type of very hyper-specific builds most of the time. I'm usually more casual about it. I get so bored and find level 9999 type runs to be a complete waste of time, effort, and energy. Like, there's... yeah. So it's like, I'm definitely one of the more casual humans. Oh, I'm not going in. I'm running out. Wee. Yeah, bounties, Damus, good to get Zata, sure. Takes a while, though, to get a Necromech. Eh, I played a good chunk of LEGO Fortnite casually. Played a little- why, why are you whispering me, Doug? Best arc gun? Uh, I mean, casually Mosselon, but Kuva guns are really good. We can finally do it. We can finally get Master Rank 4. Isn't it beautiful? 34. Legendary 4. I hate Lego Fortnite because I'm bad at every game I play. That sounds like a personal problem. Also known as a skill issue. Okay, I think I technically still need a little bit to level these things. Yeah, because they're both 26. Master rank 4 tests are such a joke, though. Not even an issue about easy or hard. It'll just be a quick thing to do. It's not even worth practicing. I'm just gonna quickly go finish off a leveling of these. I was like, oh, I guess they aren't maxed. Hmm. Well, I guess I did throw all my mods on it. Yeah, okay. God, you gotta love Bastille. Okay, let me quickly run a fast ESO. Just vob and pull everyone in. It'll be easy, fast. Mwah. My dog is passed out on his little, little body pillow. He's so cute. Oh, hey, thank you for the prime like, Ray. Enjoy the little puppy dog emotes. They are good dogs. They are good dogs. Thank you, thank you. All corgis are good corgos. Oh, I think I saw the... I also saw the 4,000 crown victories on, like, as a TikTok or something. I'm trying to remember what each of uh, Bobbin's balls do. Definitely don't want to kill them using my abilities. Don't want to use the Fletched Orb. That thing does damage. You want to kill them with weapons to get more weapon XP. Incorrect. We are doing leveling. We're not playing a defense. So I'm just pulling them in. I was like, is there a friggin... I was trying to remember if there's like a defensive one for Vauban. I, can, I can't remember if one of these are, is defensive or not. 
Cause yeah, regularly if you just kill everything, you just spam four in one spot. Well, don't spam it, but you just do that and then throw Fletched Orbs. Play them the same way Protea does. Cause they're like the same. They're both the engineer. Yeah, that's why I'm just using my Spear of Prime. You may see the damage is dog shit low. But it can kill regular enemies somewhat easily. So it works pretty well for this. There's probably a bunch of enemies, yeah, down there. Hey, thank you. Ooh, let me that's an interesting name. Let me try and say it properly. I'll probably fail. Thank you for the prime sub. Kabidi Lurking Gremloin. Nice. Noise. Thank you for the prime sub. As always, everybody, enjoy the cute little puppy dog emotes. All of the Rubens. They're good dogs. Today is the joyous occasion. We're, well, we're trying to hit max rank. Oh, look at that. I wonder, I wonder how big the AoE is on that. It's not, like, insane or anything. Yeah, I'm just casually leveling on this. Nah, Ruben's on his bed, he's sleeping. Post him on like Instagram or something though. Oh, we're both Vobbins. There's the other Vobbin in me. It's Vobbin 1 and Vobbin 2. Okay, maybe I will throw these things around. Wait. Might as well smack him around. Oh. oh no, it's spiraling out of control. I really gotta remember to hit the both both layers, right? Corgis are just precious little gremlins. I like cute little puppers. They're good dogs. Little gremlin snuggle puppies. Cali bro. Or Valboro. Oh my god. It's too chaotic. Right, I'll throw one of these Fletched Orbs down just to try to do some damage. Oh, I love Aubin. Hey, we got him maxed out. We've done it. Yes! Okay, so there's still technically one thing I need. It's the Akvasto Prime, and I need the Akvasto Prime Blueprint, but I don't really need it, you know? You, you, you picking up what I'm throwing down? Hunter, the sanctuary will go on without you. Good. Does duration matter for Lavos? Uh, I don't think a lot. I don't think much, no. Just like maybe a little bit. It might affect his cooldowns. Though, so, maybe a bit, but you don't need a ton. But yeah, if you play Fortnite, you better use Epic Games Great Code Pusker!
<laughs> you even jump scared Ruben, that was so loud. <laughs> uh, okay, we did it. Operator, the system needs you. Will you begin another mission? Oh, I should probably warm my coffee. I love my chair stream. No, I was just saying hi to the dog and my wife. Warming up her coffee. It's going to warm my coffee too. Oh, I'm so happy though. The fast landlord of a house. My parents went to get a check fixing because the family living there had nine dogs. Damn. I have a dog. <laughs> Discord clip. Yeah, maybe later. Okay. I'm gonna warm up my coffee and then we'll do this test. Cause I think we're able to just, yeah, do it here. Let me swap into my proper gear and then I'll go warm up my coffee and stuff. As always, we'll run it with our fave, our, our girl Protea. We'll throw on the Torrid because Torrid's best. Incarnate. And then we'll throw on our Latum, you know? We have our Paracesis, it's our go-to squad, our go-to build. I will be able to take all of these off when we get Protea Prime. Oh, we'll put on the uh, upgraded ones. I might take off an Amber Shard and put on like a green Tau Forged. Because once uh, upgrades come, we'll be able to do that. <laughs> God, I hate when I get hit in a metal scooter in the head. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do it. I'll throw that up as like a YouTube video in the morning in a couple of days. We'll, we'll do a little recording intro, but... 
it's not bad, not bad. We're gonna be able to get our MR, oh, sorry, legendary rank four test done today. And then from there, we'll try to farm, I guess, an Akvasto Prime blueprint or trade with chat. See if we got one of those. You know. I had my casual video talking about Warframe quitting and everything today because, uh, you know, it is that time where Warframe's slowing down a ton because they haven't had updates for a quarter of a year. So they're like, you know, losing all of their players. But this is a normal, this is a normal drop in Warframe. It's just, it happens when they have a big lull. So, yeah. But that's pretty common. You gotta remember, unless your game is constantly updating and having events, it's it's gonna have a lot more downtimes like that. What's that for Proteo Prime? Do I think it'll be increased? Shield? For sure, shield. Uh, t -t -t. Thurman, nice. Uh, I mean, you just gotta take the take the L. You, you're the one that hit yourself in the head with a scooter, there, Taylor. You got you gotta just accept it. Take the L. It's not every day someone uh, hits themselves in the head with a scooter. Understandably so. Just you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta take the L. You know, it happens to the best of us. You know, you can't always get that W. Sometimes you just gotta get a fat L. You just and you gotta walk with the shame of that L until the moment you die. It is what it is. But yeah, I would say shield, energy, maybe move speed. Oh my god, if if Prote Prime gets better move speed. <sighs> do, do, do. This game is literal. Ah. <laughs> uh, dude, I can't wait for Duet Night Abyss. It's gonna be so interesting. Oh yeah, I'll show you my, my dog one, one sec. Before I BRB. This chat loves, loves a good rootin' picture. Boop, this is my Instagram. Remember, follow the socials and stuff. All my socials in the description and stuff. Uh, here's Ruben. We went for a little car ride to Airdrie. There he is. Drop and grab some plants. He's so cute. He's just a baby. He's just a little baby boy. Get okay, baby. baby.
Womp womp womp. Yeah. I will admit, Ruben Prime would be a OP Ruben. No, no, no. Hey, appreciate it. Welcome, VB. We did it. <laughs> yes. Hello. We did it. We'll get MR4. Legendary 4. Guys, you, you know how we want Kubro, Ruben, Corgi? I don't even have a glyph, okay? I need to get a glyph first. And I might never get a glyph. And it just, it is what it is. But I do have an Epic Games Creator Code Pupster. So if you ever buy Warframe stuff on the Epic Games Store, Fortnite stuff on the Epic Games Store, it helps out. Yeah. Yeah, we have a clan emblem. Yeah, we have the Ruben uh, clan emblem. We have that, right? Right here. It's a really adorable one. The one thing... Maybe I'll change mine. Maybe I'll change my profile picture to a Ruben one. I kind of want to get a new one created, though. But, I mean, it would look pretty similar to this one at the end of the day. I don't know who I'd want to go find in commission, though. After all, I'm very bad at human interaction and finding people. Because there is one issue wrong with that. That picture. Let me show you. It's that Ruben at the very top. It's grayed out. Like, they forgot to fill that one in. But I can quickly go in Photoshop and do that. I feel, I don't know. I never know if these are like original or not. I just never trust art. I'm terrified of art. I always feel like I'm getting ripped off and scammed or like it's not original, but it's so cute. I just know, I just never know anymore. Or if it's like traced or if it's like based on something someone else did, I just never know. But either way, here's the cute Ruben. It is a cute little one. I agree, it's very adorable. And I think I do have a filled in version of it where I fixed it somewhere. Or I could just quickly fix it. Either way, it's not a big dish uh, issue. Oh, why is that in Photoshop beta? Oh, right. Like there, there are my two back to back. So they're, yeah, they're pretty cute. This was the one, uh, I think Povo, Povos made. I believe Povos has created a lot of emblems for Warframe creator, Warframe folk. Just like emblems for stuff like that. But yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, a lot of artists out there too. It would just be about me actually going and doing it finally. Like I need to go find, uh, eventually commission an emote artist for like a bunch of emotes, but I also have to sit down and decide what I want for emotes. And then I could have more on YouTube and Twitch. Like there's, there's a lot I could find. That's the thing. It's just about doing it and uh, getting a list together of what I'd want. <clears throat> Do 
do do do do do. I'm just uh, I'm just good about wa not wanting to, <laughs> or like wanting art but not wanting to do it. <laughs> it's so goofy. No, I'm just common law. Takes too much time going, uh, getting government married. I'll just stick with common law. And, uh, contractually obligated married. Got a nice ring, though. So cute. I love the different classifications. It's so funny. First and prime? It's okay. I don't think I've had enough time with it. Ugh. I don't know. I feel like it's good, but... Okay, no, it's the Bratton I'm thinking of. I have not built the Burst and Prime Incarnan. Never mind. I was getting confused with the Bratton. I'm like, the Bratton seems okay, but I wish it was a little better. Even with such high stats. Like, so decent stats overall. Could be better. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I need to eventually get... I don't know if I actually want to get my profile picture replaced one of these days, but... I just feel like I should one of these days. Get a refresh. Just base it off Ruben. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But he is a good dog. He is a good dog. Yeah. <clears throat> like, we have the clan emblem. Which is close. It's not quite, it's not quite perfect. Cause Ruben looked younger when he was a little babby. Now he looks a little older. Still a little baby though, let's be real. <clears throat> so Taz Whisper interact with Paranin Karnin shot. Ah, no clue. You have to find someone with a Paranin, Parison Karnin. I'm never gonna uh, get a Parison Karnin. Uh, there's no dog that's based off my profile picture. It was just created like that. Uh, just corgis, right? Yeah, I mean, this is Ruben, right? Look at him, such a cute puppy. <coughs> right? So I'm like, uh, maybe next time, yeah, I should get a dog profile picture based off Ruben now that he's a big pupper. This is definitely one of his better pictures. Look at him, he's such a cutie. He's such a baby. Look at him. And his bandana and everything. Oh my god, how does he do it? How is he such an adorable little puppy? Oh my god, we may never know, chat. We may never know. But you look at him and you're like, oh, what a cutie pie. What a little baby boy. Yeah, he's a very snuggly good dog. We went, uh, went to Airdrie today, he went for a nice run. Yeah. I'll probably do Master Rank 4 thing soon. But yeah. I do need like a freaking profile picture. Eventually created a new one like that. I don't like the same idea of like, because I think most profile pictures are like circles now, right? They're just like circle, Ruben Corgi. It could have a different background, like space or jungle or whatever. I just wouldn't be, you know. I need a more upfront photo of Ruben for like a good reference photo, because he does have that little blue sparkle in his eye. He ha see, he has like a little blue tick in his eye. <clears throat> ah, jump scare. See, he's a snuggle puppy. He's a big snuggle puppy. And this is this was him sleeping, uh, snuggled. Uh, my wife's hidden here, but she, she's there. Trust me, she's there. Or maybe not. No, no, she's there. See, he's out. <clears throat> he's a very 
sleepy little dog. He lives a tough life, okay. Oh god, the pixels. There we go. He lives he lives a tough life. Yeah. He very much does. I have my build down, so I guess I should go do the mass rank legendary four test, huh? It's about time. Oh, it's about time. Should get that done. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> hey everyone, Pupsker here. And today in Warframe, we're finally at the point where we are getting max rank in the game yet again. That's right. I can now get legendary rank four, mastery rank 34 and do the test. So let's do it. The gear we are running is going to be pretty simple. We are going to be running Protea, okay? We're gonna be running Torrid in Karnan chat. We're gonna be running Latum in Karnan, okay? And we're gonna be running the Parasesis. So this is my general build. The mods on them are just maxed out, but whatever. So let's do it. I haven't done the mastery rank four test yet, or 34, legendary four test yet. There it is. Are you ready to become a legendary four? Mastery rank 34, if you will. See, it's for legendary four, but it's like 34. Either way, you can only attempt it once a day. I don't think it's a hard test, but I mean, like we're gonna find out. Like we'll see if it's a hard test or not. No point in practicing. <clears throat> practicing is for the weak. We are Protea. 10-0. But what of your endurance? Can you survive this onslaught? Do I just live? Survive until the timer runs out. It's a two minute survival? That's it? Okay. This is this is a piece of cake, everybody. What is that? Oh, they're infested. Yeah, okay, so we chose quite literally one of the strongest casual Warframes to do this in, because all you do is this. I, I can't die. Because, that's right, everyone. Rodia has infinite shield gating, infinite energy and health, throwing down her third ability. And if I use a Torrid in Karnan, I can just go spin around every single day. Okay, okay. So if you're running this test, just, you know, quick guide tip TLDR. Use an invincible Warframe with shield gating, or hell, you can use Revenant easily. You could probably even use uh, Inaros because of how strong his health tanking is, right? Hildren for shield gating. You could use anything, really. This one's pretty simple. Legendary four. It's one of the easier ones, so... Yeah, remember to like videos, check out my Twitch, all my socials, Pupsker, you know, twitch.tv Pupsker. And comment down below how uh, your mastery rank. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Sometimes I forget to put the shield down and then I almost die. It's a little unfortunate, but I mean, like, it happens. It's not really a big deal. It just, it happens, you know? It just happens. Look at them, they're actually everywhere. They're spawning on top of everything. The, like, Demolis, I think. You just gotta remember to actually hit your grenades. That's where you might kinda screw up and you forget to hit the grenades forget to replace them down to shield gate, you know? But that was a hey, two minutes survived. We are now the strongest, highest, best possible rank in Warframe. Warframe legendary for everybody. 
Let's just take a moment to appreciate this, okay? Oh my god, that's that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff right there. Like, what are we gonna go do next? We could do anything. How are we gonna beat Warframe again? I don't know, but some way. So we are now legendary rank four. We are max rank. We've done it, chat. Thank you, chat. Twitch chat, everyone, just clap, 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 clap. Yeah, we did it. Ugh. Yeah, bronze again. Diamond legendary mastery slate and a legendary core. Mwah, we did it. The power of teamwork and friendship. So that is, that's the mastery rank four max rank test in Warframe for legendary four. Uh, it wasn't really that bad. Remember to, yeah, remember to like and sub and use Epic Games creator code Pupsker. It'll probably be, what, what do you guys think? Another year before Legendary 5 unlocks because of the rate of everything coming out? We'll have to wait until Warframe 1999 for a good amount of new weapons. But until then, it's it's going to be pretty calm for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you can, if you want to use my casual Protea build, this is my maxed out Protea build for now. I put a good chunk on duration because I don't want things to run out. A little bit of strength, but not too much because I want all my abilities to be good. A little bit of efficiency so I can spam it out a little bit more, but yeah. The only negative I have is on range because it doesn't affect these too aggressively. And it doesn't hurt grenade fan. Yeah, it's not too aggressive, but if you want to take something out, maybe take out narrow minded for the maybe different duration mod. Yeah, because there's like a 30-30 duration mod. And you can always, or like 30, 24%, sorry. You can always throw that on, but yeah, this is my general Protea build. This is my general Torrid build, just killing everything. Corrosive heat, whatever, corrosive heat. I don't care too much. Latum build, viral heat, uh, viral radiation heat. Look at that, oh my God, slaps the cheeks of all the enemies that ever existed. And then my general Parasesis, Berserker Fury, Organ Shatter, Prime Fever Strike, Sacrificial Steel, all of that. Yeah, there is one more weapon I need. I might be legendary rank four, but there is still technically one more weapon I need. I am 727 out of 728 now, okay? I recently just got the Latran Wraith and the Spira Prime created, the blueprint, from someone who sold them to me because I posted about it, so that was cool. And now I just need to get the Ak Vasto Prime Blueprint. So once I get the Ak Vasto Prime Blueprint, everyone, we will be good to go. But if you didn't know, you can go retake all of your mastery rank tests over at Cephalon Samaris. In order to go to Cephalon Samaris, you can go to any relay in Warframe and then just fast travel to it or run over to it. But yeah, I need the Ak Vasto Prime Blueprint, and then that's the last weapon until Dante Unbound, Warframe 1999, and all of those other updates come out, right? So you can go to Cephalon Samaris and replay all of the Mastery Rank tests. So these are all like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? I wanna see if they have the Legend Rank tests out there yet, or if they don't, or if it's on the other side. Okay, because this goes up to, yep, they have up to Legendary 11 right now. Legendary 6, Legendary 5, and we can replay the Legendary 5 test if we go into there. It's just that simple. So... You have proven your skills with weapons to okay, technically this is the Legendary 4 test, so I guess it's, I guess it's, off by one it's the legendary four before five test i i know i'm like wait what it says legendary five uh i guess it's technically mismarked because that's the oh that's why legendary three test legendary four test legendary five test and then this says requires legendary five so maybe it's just off because it goes Legendary 2, Legendary 1, Master Rank 30, 29. Is it because it starts at 1 instead of 0 type of deal? I'm not going to go through each and every one, one by one, but it's definitely 
something like that, right? It's like it starts off at mastery rank one instead of like mastery rank zero type of deal. Because if you just do one, two, three, we're master rank four. Either way, <clears throat> that is our legendary four test. Yeah, legendary five is legendary four. That's the thing. So either way, let me know what you think, what master rank you are. That just kind of spooked me a little bit there. But if you ever do want to replay the tests, you can just go do it here. So keep that in mind. I just think it's so funny how that's like legendary rank five test. That's the silver one. This is the bronze one, legendary four test, right? So I guess maybe it just unlocks the one early, right? Cause that's the slate for that one. That's not that slate, it's that slate. So it looks like the it. this is just like a bug where it maybe unlocks one ahead or it's just kind of not properly uh, isn't calculated for. Either way, that's kind of funny. That's the mastery rank test, so let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe, like, and check out all the socials. And Legendary 5 next year, baby. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
No, so what I need is the Akvasto Prime Blueprint, right? I have the Akvasto. I have the two Vasto Primes and I have the Akvasto Prime Link. Build a wall with them, it looks awesome. Yeah, I've seen a handful of people do that. I don't dislike it, I'm just not willing to do it. <laughs> I don't hate it, I just don't don't want to do it. See, like, I don't have the Akvasto Axie A5 Prime one. I don't have it. And even if I did, it's a 10% chance, right, that I can get the Akvasto Prime blueprint. Right, I have two Vasto. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm goddamn ready. I don't know if base Grattler's good. Don't think it's bad. I just don't know if it's good. I know Kuva Grattler's probably better than uh, most Dark Guns, though. Yeah, Warframe decorating is tough. That is the hardest part. Okay. Let me quickly fashion from. Let me see here. Okay, let me let me quickly try it out. Okay, they have grid snapping. You just can't see it. Oh, there we go. That's why. I yeah, I had it on surface. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not too shabby. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now I guess we're going to continue on. Fuck it. We got, we got time. We, we did it. We did the thing. Oh god. Is that the one? Okay. Oh yeah, I do have to uh, disable surf snapping. Okay. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Just do it like right here. It goes silver, uh, bronze, silver, gold each time. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, we continue. There we go. Yeah, 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 we're getting there, we're getting there.
We can do rows of six. I'm not doing any sort of like big thing. This is gonna be slightly off. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. We're we did it. We're mastery rank. We're mastery rank done. Look at that. Ooh, nice. You think I can fit three more here? Three, uh, with a nine, eighteen, twenty-seven type of deal. And then one, two, three at the very bottom. That's the idea. Oh yeah, we got room, fuck yeah. Hey, we could fit another one or two. Did I get LR4? Yeah! We did Legend Rank 4, we did it. I know, I'm, I'm kind of a big deal, guys. Yeah, I'll upload my test guide walkthrough, whatever you feel like calling it, in another can full of days. So. Does it matter? Obviously not. For, like, the grand scheme of Warframe. Getting another Legendary or Master Rank. But now we're, we did it. Uh, we did it, chat. Everything we ever hoped to achieve is done. I'm so proud of everyone. <laughs> my chat, we did it together. We're all it. We're all in this together. Uh, whatever that weird, like, high school musical song is, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, progress wise and, like, bonus wise. It doesn't matter in Warframe. That's what I'm referring to, sorry. It's like we don't really get, like, a huge boost. You just get more standing daily cap. That's it. And <laughs> that's, like, so tiny. Can't wait for super ultra mega legendary mode. Okay, let me upload my legendary four picture to Instagram, Facebook now. There we go. We did it together, chat. <laughs> together as a family. We did it. Did I help? We all helped by by grinding the shit out of this game for our lives. For, for life. Today, chat, we beat Warframe. There, we've done it. We, we've done it. Is there a way to check played or start date? There used to be, but I don't think there is. 
Because, yeah, same, same. I've been playing since late high school. Try the MR19 and see if it'll bug for me. What was uh, bugging on it for you? I don't think there is a way. There, you used to straight up be able to check account levels. But yeah, you can't anymore. How many hidden, hidden items are there in Warframe? Uh, Excalibur, Prime, and Umbra. Oh god, there's a lot. The Sirocco, uh, Prisma Veritux, I have that. The Plexus? Yeah, that's what I have, that's the... Okay, Venari, Venari Prime, that's Korra. The Hounds, yeah, I think I have it all there. There's probably, like, one more weapon I can get. Like, if I'm at 728, am I missing any? Oh, well. Yeah, I'd rather it look like that. Yeah, now that we're max rank, we might as well just have this set up, you know? Be cool. One of the cool guys, one of the cool kids. Have our mastery rank wall set up. But mom, everyone has the sweet mastery rank wall. No, not, not until you're max, max rank. <laughs> No, you don't understand. Like this doesn't this doesn't show the true this doesn't show any hidden ones. This doesn't show the hidden ones. I'm I'm just wondering if I'm hitting missing one hidden weapon. I need to get the uh Akvasto Prime blueprint. That's fine, but I'm wondering if I'm missing one hidden, you know? That's all. No. Nah. I have to like manually go through and checks. I know I have most of them. I want to see what it says. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Instead of like 729. Do, do, do. Yeah, oh, well. I'm not really too curious these days if I am missing one or not. Hello! Yeah, all is going well. Yeah, I mean, I'll jump on always during updates and see what's going on. 
And to make videos, of course. I definitely say the last year of Warframe, the streams have been way more casual because there's been, there hasn't really been, other than when there's updates, of course. Because there just hasn't been things to do. Because we, we all know Warframe is not an end game game. Like, it is a farm game, and once you hit end game, you're kind of just chilling, taking breaks, waiting for updates, right? So, most of my streams, we just like chill half the time and make videos. That's why I stream less on YouTube compared to when I used to stream, like more. There was more to do, you know? I like streaming on YouTube when there's more of an objective. Mm, I've never been a huge fan of arbitrary grinds for the sake of grinding, though. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, you can always grind out more platinum. You can grind up more credits. But why? Just to have more? Like, that's just stupid, you know? It doesn't feel like an accomplishment. It just feels like a grind. You feel me? I always like to, like, actually find one. It's like, maybe I'll try to get a high rank in a Fortnite. <laughs> try to go for Unreal this season. Navigation has been updated with new invasions. Chaos is spreading. Uh, there we go. The symbols are very pretty, though. Okay, this is the direct middle. Oh, yeah, okay. No, this is easy, then. I don't keep every gun because I, I mean, I could use more slots. I do not keep them all. There we go. There's the rank wall. And then there's rank wall two. This one will have to be moved later. A lot of hours in Warframe. It says 1,400 in-game, 5,000 on Steam, because this is in mission hours, right? Yeah, you don't get, like, there's no account age section to check. 1.6 KD on Conclave, what's up? What's up? You wanna fight? Yeah, what's up? Huh? Yeah, you wanna fight with my Conclave? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, no, that's my Conclave, though. Well, we did it, though. It seems like a weird accomplishment day. Well, we did it. Oh, yeah, is today St. Patty's Day? Oh, congrats. Oh, yeah, Tribes Ascend 3 came out today. Tribes 3. I was getting emails, they are doing, like, promos. And like sponsored stuff. It was literally like an open call stream three hours or like two hours and for $150. I was like, I don't want to play that right now. I used to play so much Tribes Ascend 2 though, or Tribes 2, or Tribes Ascend. I can't remember what the naming conventions were. Either way, we hit legendary rank four today, everybody. <laughs> I could do a new, I could do a new account starting from scratch, beginner's guide, Warframe thing. 
upload the streams to YouTube or like stream it on YouTube and Twitch and then make casual guide videos talking about it. I might do that, to be fair. It'll probably be like four hours a day, or like I play for four hours. And then I make a casual guide talk video about like a beginner's guide part one type of deal. Or I, where I go over what we did and like what you should do maybe. We're not gonna like try to perfect everything, but just grind forward some of the game. Yeah, I might end up doing that, to be honest. I have an old account. Maybe I can get it reset. Yeah, can you get accounts reset in Warframe? Like, delete an old email account? I think I can for my profile, right? I think I can. Like, I go into my Warframe profile and I wipe my save for an old email. I think I can do that. Because I do have an old account on a different email. I have an old beta account in Warframe, or not a beta one, sorry, an old year one account. Uh, I have 40 minutes played on it. We could check it out one day. We'll, we'll title the video, my first Warframe account. Hmm, that's interesting though. Well, we did it though. Congrats everybody. We jumped on and we accomplished what we wanted to. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised. How do I feel? I feel like I've accomplished everything. Oh, I just feel like there's nothing for me to do in Warframe yeah. right now, which is a little annoying. Well, nothing for me to play. I could create a billion videos, so yeah, we're good there. Damn, we did it, chat. We're legendary rank four. Now we, we beat the game as much as we really can that matters. Okay, let's see what hidden items we might be missing. I'm like, is there a place that has a proper list of, is it 729, I know the Hidden Mastery Wiki, I'm already on that, but I'm just like, how many actual items are there? I don't think anyone's collect counted. I'm just not too sure if I need one more hidden thing. And I didn't, I don't wanna go over one by one. Yeah, the hour in an index thing is just useless, but it's cute. Yeah, give me all your platinum. <laughs> I'll, I'll mug you. Look, the carrier's prime look like a frame. Hell yeah. Okay, we have Excal, Excal. We have a Dara Vandal. We have a Dex Sybaris. We have the Gorgon Carith. Oh my god, we have a Latrin. We have a Latrin Wraith, Carrick Wraith, Gorgon. Right, Gorgon Wraith. Lens, Prisma Lens. Right, we got an Opticore Vandal, Prisma Gorgon, Prisma Lens, Quanta. Yeah, we have a Spectra, Snipetron, Quanta, Supra, Galaxian, Strun Wraith, Snipetron, yeah.
Yeah, Lado Prime we can't get because it's a founder one. Let's see, we have a Prisma Veritux, we the Plexus thing, we have Venari, we have the... I don't think it's going to show up. Oh, no, we have the Akaten, Bataten, Lasserten, Prisma Burst, right? Prisma Shade. We have the Dex Dacra, right? Yeah. We have the Corum. We have the Machete Wraith. Nefari Paracesis. Prisma Oma. Sheev. Yep. Gaijati. Skana Prime. Veridilac. Yeah, we have all that. Okay, Zorus. Yeah, I think I have it all that I can get. I have... Oh. Ah, oh, I need to get a Twin Viper Wraith Blueprint. That's what I need. I need Twin Viper Wraith Barrels. There it is. There it is. Anyone have a Twin Viper Wraith Barrel I can buy off of them? These are tradable. That's what I need. Okay. I need a Twin Viper Wraith Barrel. Okay, okay. Well, I'll see if that's a alert ever, and then yeah. Nah, that's right there. Okay. Yeah, if anyone has an Akvasto Prime blueprint, or that's what I need, Akvasto Prime blueprint, right? Because I have the link and the guns. And I need the Twin Viper Wraith Barrel. So, yeah, we'll only buy one of those if anyone has it. That's cool. Now we figured out the final items we need in the game. We don't need them, but I mean, like, you know. You know. You know. We need it. We can get them eventually, just paying attention. Checking in, we'll get it one of these days, but... It's of course one of those things where it's like objectively kind of a waste of time. Really putting energy and caring about it. But I, I want it. I need to get it all, okay? Sadly, nope. Ooh, no one has it. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, it does. I could get all of the arcanes as well. Um, I just don't want to. I refuse. That does not sound fun to me. That sounds like a terrible time. Terrible, terrible time. I'm all uploaded my Did You Quit Warframe video today. Eh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like a lot of people are like, you know, quitting for kind of the reasons you expect. They're like, yeah, I got bored, burnt out, no end game. It's the usual. I always like to check in with everybody, see how they're doing. Oh yeah, I had my goofy little mobile live stream yesterday, just checking it out. It was so weird. It's like it pushed out to a ton of people starting, and then it didn't. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. I should have started doing an NPC stream. Yes, yes, yes. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, you don't get anything extra from beating the Eidolons on Steel Path, right? Uh, I don't think so. You might just get some more loot, you know? Like, just more general loot, so it's probably worth it. But maybe not. I cannot remember for the life of me.
<laughs> yeah, we did it though, damn. Do you think they'll ever make an incarnate of Twin Vipers? Maybe. No, but you can always just get Twin Viper Wraith. That's what I need. Or like, maybe eventually Prime. Yeah, we have we have Duet Knight Abyss, which is also like... It's a Warframe clone type game. Ooh. Get every mod. I could get every mod, I could get every Arcane, but I'd, I don't care that much. That doesn't sound fun. Make every app combination. How about I don't? How about I don't? <laughs> oh no. You know what that sounds like? Not gonna happen. Win on Acomagnus Prime, such a fun gun. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess there was an invite sent out or anything for Duet Night Abyss. They did that Friday stuff. Well, I'm happy I got max rank. Uh, I'm gonna pay my taxes tomorrow. It'll be expensive times. Oh, high five, chat. We did it. I could play fork knife. Yeah. I could definitely play some forked knives. Give affinity boost now, please. Okay, so I think I'm gonna jaw jump off the YouTube stream because hey, we got max rank. We did what we came out to achieve to do. I I'm gonna stay on Twitch. I think keep streaming on Twitch, and I'm gonna make some videos and render out the master rank stuff and chill with chat. And then after we might either jump to Final Fantasy after we're done with uh, Warframe or Fortnite, one or the other. But yeah. So, not bad, not bad. Nah, I always play Fortnite in solos. Sometimes I play with a party, but if I'm doing ranked, not happening. And I'm not turning over, uh, open my friend request because people are annoying and invite me too much. Wee wee wee. Well, mostly what I do on Fortnite is I invite or I accept a lot of friend requests and then if people start doing the thing where they send me party invites, I just block them. That's what I usually do. Because I always have invites off and I'm like, uh, I'll turn on my party on stream and stuff to get people in. But, yeah. I always block people and they just send me invites a lot. Once in a while someone will just start spamming me invites and so I'll block them. <laughs> people are weird. Yeah, Fortnite really needs a proper do not disturb mo mode. Apparently, it used to have it. Apparently, Fortnite actually used to have a proper do not disturb mode. Can you believe that? Like, damn. And then they took that shit away. What the fuck? That, I got so pissed off when I found that out. I'm like, wait, what? You mean I could have actually just let everyone freely invite me and then put on Do Not Disturb, but now I can't because they don't... Why? Wilson! Uh... Either way, I'm gonna end the YouTube stream and continue.